Welcome back to Trail Talk, guys. And we are out, not really on a trail, but in a road situation that I drive personally quite a bit. And wanted to talk to you guys about my impressions of the suspension that I put on my 4Runner. If you haven't seen that video, we have a Shop Talk video on it that we'll link in the description below. But I have put a Icon CDEV system on the 4Runner. It's a new tech by Icon that is a full electronic changing system that has a brain under the hood that can talk to the shocks and send adjustments to each individual shock. On top of the CDV system, I just wanted to discuss with you guys my initial impressions of the suspension. I've been driving it for a month or so now and just wanted to go over it with you guys. So join us on this trail talk. What I would like to do is just do kind of a walkthrough of what I did. But starting in the back, I added basically their full billet package from Icon. So upper and lower trailing arms that are fully adjustable. The rear 2.5 shocks that are also their aluminum series. If you haven't picked up an aluminum series shock before, it's incredible. They are insanely lightweight compared to just a standard steel shock. What I have noticed driving it as it sits right now is it is a little bit on the firm side and I was intentionally doing that or hoping for it because I do have plans to add maybe a second drawer back here and a rear bumper. And I also have plans of adding a winch and maybe even a full front bumper, not sure what's gonna come first. So I do plan on adding weight. So by planning ahead, I made sure that the suspension was gonna be ready for it instead of adding the suspension, then adding the weight, then having to change up the suspension, it's extremely important to plan out your build. So even if you're starting from scratch, make sure to plan out your build as you're thinking through stuff, think about like if you're gonna be adding something in the near future, you wanna make sure that those springs can handle that weight so you're not doing the work twice. But back to this one, working our way up front. Up front, I went with the 2.5 CDVs with the external reservoir and the billet upper control arms that are fully adjustable. Before I had kind of a standard aftermarket upper control arm, the issue with it I had was is I couldn't adjust anything past the preset caster angle that it came with from their factory. And what you want to look at with upper control arms, as you lift past about an inch and a half to two inches, what's going to happen is the angle from your lower control arm to your upper control arm is going to straighten out as it lifts up. And ideally you want the upper control arm to be back a little bit and what that's going to allow is to have much better tracking and ride handling on the highway and you're not going to have as vague as steering so if you've lifted your vehicle and you kind of have vague wandering steering look at upgrading your upper control arm the attraction to this system though is icon cdev which is compression dampening electronic valving in the past, you've always just had the little knob that you get out and you chest on your reservoir. What this allows is it actually replaces that knob with an electronic actuator that has a valve inside of the reservoir that as you open it up, it allows the oil to flow, decreasing the dampening and allowing the shock to be softer ride, or it'll shut and firm it up and allow and restrict the oil flow firming up the suspension and having it ride firmer now the cdv does a lot more than just replace the manual knob on the reservoir and allow you to keep driving while adjusting the settings so let me show you the brain under the hood and how it connects to the app So under here is what Icon calls the IIC. It's the Icon Intelligent Control. And basically it's a G sensor that communicates with your phone and communicates with the suspension or your shocks. 
when you're looking at mounting this or installing it, you can pretty much mount it wherever works for you, but you'll notice on here there's an arrow that says front. So you just wanna make sure that arrow is pointed towards the front of the vehicle. And you don't wanna have this at too much of an angle. You just wanna make sure it's in a solid spot. You don't want it to be bouncing around or shaking or it could shift because there's G sensors in here detecting what is going on with your vehicle at all times. It's a really cool system that in my opinion is basically the future of suspension technology. And I'm excited to see what other companies come up with because as companies innovate and bring out tech like this, it just keeps evolving and getting better from there. That's the quick overview of the suspension I put on the 4Runner and what the CDEV is, but let's get on the trail and I'll show you guys it in action. system when you're inside driving you don't have to get out if the train changes with the app and the brain under the hood is I can be driving along like this and then when the it gets rockier if it gets smoother I can either adjust it here which is kind of a general adjustment or I'll just let it do its work and it can adjust the terrain so if I'm driving along on a smooth stretch all of a sudden I hit a big old pothole or a rock right there, a washed out area. The brain's gonna detect that and be able to change it instantly for me. And so if you're doing a lot of driving on multi-surface terrain, going from smooth gravel to really bad whoops, it's a really neat system because you just don't need to get out and adjust things and it'll do it for you. Also, it'll help you in cornering not just for that adjustment alone, it'll also allow it to adjust side to side. So if you're going on a straight and then you take a sharp corner, it'll firm up the side that's going through the corner to keep your body roll at a minimum. We are headed back to the hangar. We just came from driving on dirt road and now we just transitioned to pavement. And so now if I wanted to, I could turn it up or just let the brain detect it and it still feels great. And we just keep on going. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this trail talk of testing the suspension I put on my 4Runner. We'll see you guys on the trail and see you on the next one.